Heroes, as you mentioned, they have just come off the win. I mean, they, they beat them last time in a final, uh, I believe it was just a couple of weeks ago, in the IGL Pro Community Cup. So they're going to have confidence. And I think that is so unbelievably key for Team Envious. They need to be confident. But we are heading into map number one now. It is going to be Impact. Uh, Guy, brief thoughts on this one? Uh, you know what? This is this is gonna be this is gonna be an interesting one. You know, we know how Optic loves to play quick. We know if they lose this first round, they're gonna be putting those retros down. That first weapon placement that goes down is gonna be interesting. For all our new yep. viewers out there uh, that don't know too much about this escalation game type, well, it's gonna be first to seven rounds win. How do you win a round? You either reach 210 points first, or you three cap somebody, and that yep. allows you to win a round. But at the end of every single round, uh, it's gonna be two seconds added to the respawn. And then also, the losing team will be able to place a weapon down on the map and kind of control the tempo of the game. And we're going to do that. Round 7 will be halftime. Respawn timers will be dropped down to 10 seconds. The weapons will be wiped off the map. We're going to do it again, and the heals will be flipped. And first to seven rounds shall win the game. As it stands early on in the game, it looks like it might be envious with actually a, a, a little bit of control. So, Vincent, yes. when it comes down to some of Team Envious's strengths on impact, uh, can you name a few of them for me? Team Envious' strengths. I mean, there's definitely a couple that you can really name. I mean, I was speaking to Ryan, the coach of Team Envious. He said this is a map which team shooting is just absolutely crucial. Expect to see potentially Toy and Soldier, or sorry, Toy and Solars come through. They're going to be the key players, which he identified and said, hey, for Envy, these are our guys on this map. We expect to see them go off. For some reason, they're just more talented than everybody else. Yeah, no, you know, and so those guys, you know, and then also, especially uh, when we talk about some of uh, Optic Gaming's uh, weakness on this map, you know, they, they are aggressive sometimes. They just too probably aggressive. too aggressive, and they just force a lot of fights here. But if they can be aggressive on ribs and kind of force them off that home hill and uh, kind of play for both home hills, which we've seen, you know, teams like Allegiance use that strategy a lot, you know, it can kind of work out for them if they want to disregard B on some of these rounds. Oh, well, it was uh, a good initial opening for Team Envious, but up to gaming, I think they have a little bit of a fire in their belly as they are able to walk out with uh, round number one there. That scoreboard, of course, will be flipped. Apologies about that brief graphic mistake as we see Ribs now actually on weapon placement. Of course, Ribs, he's going to be playing that flex role. He's going to be going up against Kenny from up to gaming, and they decide to drop... Boltar. Boltar. And that, uh, okay. that strategy is because they don't want to use their block there, uh, but they also know that they do not want to give those support weapons to anybody on Optic there to kind of... Because uh, they, they know it's going to be a hindrance on them. It's going to be a little bit harder to take control of that neutral hill at B. So, Botox for the block. And uh, so they're going to go forward there. And that way they can save that. So the way we can... Would it be like... I want to say it's four weapon placements. My fault is five weapon placements on this map. Uh -huh. You know, I think we can kind of see more nays than anything play out. Okay, we will see that block eventually. Uh, I feel like we will see frag grenades come out. We will see incense come out. And uh, if we get lucky, we, we may see a twerk roll here on one of these last hills. Essentially, uh, it's something that we've seen uh, dropped quite often, especially on this map. As unfortunately for Team Envy, this franchise has fallen over towards that B hill. Of course, Optic will be our red squad in this one. Summons, he's going to clean him up. And, you know, Optic, as I said, I, I feel like they're looking for revenge, guy. When, when you beat a team like Optic Gaming, I feel it just it lights that fuel, if nothing else. No, it definitely does. The team NBS will be on our COG squad, and Optic will be on our Swarm team here. And, uh, but, you know, so going for, going so far, you know, we see Team Envious, and they, they have these two hills capped, and uh, they have both home hills, so that's good. And they're going to see them uh, slay up one more time here as well. And uh, my fault, that's actually explosive to picking up two kills, though. But Team Envious, they hold two caps, and this is good for them. This is exactly what they need. Good teamwork here for these guys. Yep, praised more than happy to just linger around the sea hill. This is one of Envy's big strengths on this map, to be honest, is capping the opposition home hill. They don't mind flooding, and they're able to just make sure they secure those gunfights because of that good team shooting. And there's a prime, prime example of that. Fran, he's able to clean up mental thanks to some nice shots coming from the rest of his team. And Tripcap actually could be coming in here for Team Envy. It's the B hill is going to be momentarily broken. Toy, he's going to defend summons. And he may actually start making his way over towards that B hill just to give his teammates a little bit of support. And you know what? That's going to actually be good, though. That's going to be a... Uh... That's going to be good right there for these guys because the simple fact is is just that you see you see Team Envious, they hold a control over both home heels, right? They're forcing Optic Gaming to come back, come to them, uh, and, you know, kind of force the pressure off of being Team Envious takes it over a little bit later. Still looking at Toy Soldier's perspective here. He's trying to make something happen. You look at the score, 136 to 95 points. It is in favor of Team Envy here to try and level things up. Of course, they did lose round number one. It was up to Gaming that came out and was able to take that one. 
Well, so only got that 10 second respawn. This one will be a 12 second respawn. The Souls actually went out uh, 1v1 there against Summit. And you know, for all our viewers out there, the scoreboard does say Optic Gaming is up 1-0, uh, but it is 0-0. Okay, if you're just joining us, it is 0 No, mm -hmm. it's the other way around. It's flipped. Optic Gaming is 1-0. No, I was talking about at the bottom left. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I noticed that too. I was like, wait. I'm about to say, am I, did I like forget like, a whole map? God, dude, we already had a map, bro. Dude, like you could have got me on that one. I would have been like. Oh, <laughs> damn, I should have done. Damn. I, I forgot. I'm about to say, I did not enough. forget a whole map here. Like, I, I, just, I was not thinking of Yeah, you, you're right. It, it is still 0 0. Praise, though, doing a good job of walking in towards that up to game and spawn, and I mean, he's going to be aggressive. And, Praise, he can be so good at times. Beautiful play from him. Envy tie things up at one round apiece. So, good start for the boys in blue there. Just being able to respond mm -hmm. as he played. So, there we go. Uh, but, you know, so the weapon placement coming down here, and the weapon placement is going to be coming down here. And so now we're going to see exactly what does Team Envious, uh, my father, what, does, what, what does Optic want to place down here? And they can choose, I wouldn't put anything on the tail end of the map because the simple fact is that Team Envious has been putting all the resources down there, capping both home hills. So Optic uses the block, gets that out the way, and now we're going to have two weapon placements open, one on B hill and one at the bottom of the map where the E hill will be after halftime. So... Uh, we will see, you know, what gets placed there. I can definitely see frag grenades being placed in one of those spots here as well. But going forward here, we're going to see the open and break. Looking over towards that A hill. There's going to be two players from Optic Gaming making their way over there. Meanwhile, Solars is going to be over at the B hill. And already pushing straight through. Nicely done from Team MV. Winning those opening engagements. However, a couple of players from Optic still lingering around. So he's going to be able to pick up one. But it, with that kill, actually, they're going to secure the B hill. Yes, they will. And so they come they come through here and they will clean that up. All right, so Team Envy is looking good here. They get that opening break. They do lose their home hill in the process, but they are aggressive. So both home hills will go in favor of Optic Gaming. And as we said before, one of Team Envy's, uh, Team Envy's weakness is that they lose their home hill a lot. So Rivs has to be a little bit more defensive or either try to, try to call for help or stall a lot. Uh, because you know Ribs is placed out on this map. He likes to <laughs> he does a lot of rotation He overextends some bit, but his overextension actually saves team team envy sometimes But we, we saw that a lot in yeah. London specifically because some, some of his decision-making of when to overextend and a, a fantastic flex But then you know you put Kenny versus Ribs in that kind of flex fight. Mm hmm Who do you favor more? That is, that is true, you know, who do you want? And that's one thing it is about Optic, right? When you think about think about like this, Vincent, you know, some teams and the players that they put in these flex rows, right? Mm -hmm. I've seen Optic, it gets changed on a lot of these maps. Oh, you know, sometimes it's Summon, sometimes it's Kenny. <laughs> they uh, they it change them off too as well. They're like, oh, who likes that side of the map? You like it? All right, you're going to be the flex role. Exactly, and then we see other teams, they, they, they stick it to one guy. Yeah. There's do. one person who does it every single time. And what, what's interesting to me is you see a couple of teams actually use kind of that support player. Yeah. And you're like, well, all right, if you're using a support player and someone else is essentially using a main slayer simply because he likes that side of the map, I you mean, know, you know, you, you play odds on that one. Surely the main slayer is going to walk away with those wins. This key 1v1, which honestly can be the, the decider in a lot of rounds, but we digress, as you can see, currently Envy in a lot of control here. Again, trying to push for that trip cap. Unfortunately, the B-Hill will be broken. It's going to be lava that springs into action. And is he going to be able to find the pick on Soldier? You can see that crossfire coming through. I mean, we talked about how Envy is very good at that, but the team fire from up to gaming is just as good. They, they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that. Yeah, they definitely can. And even to even just, like, touch bases on it just a little bit more, Benson, uh, you know, do you put your weaker player in that position to, to hold down a home hill and, and be that over Absolutely the or do you, not. Do you put your, your, your best player there to be able to defend it and be able to push I, and make plays for your team? I really think that role is so crucial. We're, we talked about this a while ago, but in 2016, you know, how is that role going to develop? I honestly think you need one of your stronger players in that role. Yeah. You, you really do because they have to win a 1v1, right? And you think, oh, it's just a 1v1. I would rather yeah, have a stronger player protect from the domination for is the a 1v2. Main thing. But exactly, you're, you're keeping your team in the game and you're also allowing your team to win. Yeah. It, it, it's and, crazy. And yeah, you got to have greater map awareness because it's, you can essentially push and play for the opposing team's mm -hmm. uh, home hill, you know, to save your team from that domination, or you can choose to clutch up on yours and save your team from that domination, you know? Very true. Uh, it, it's many different ways you can do it, but you have to have great map awareness on what's going on. 
Can he, looking for a double knock, gonna find it. Meanwhile, Praise, he's gonna put pressure on B. Ooh, you can nice. already hear the dings in the background. Look at the score, 193 to 195. The B hill's gonna be neutral, and Praise, rather than capping it with his teammate, actually opts to push through, and now he's in a fantastic position to put pressure on A. Meanwhile, though, C's been completely neutralized. 204 to 203. This one looking like it might go up the gaming's way, but now all three hills completely neutralized. They cannot afford to lose B, but I believe it's up the gaming that won those fights, and it's gonna be explosive that will seal the deal for the green wall in round number three. Optic go to one up. Yeah, praise. He circled that map right there, and uh, he just really needs to defend B Hill, and he just cannot come back. Were you surprised? Don't seem just immediately kind of wrap because you just had that one v one. He kind of just ran straight past it. He was yeah. Like, nah, I don't want it. Nah, it's that co that communication right there. They need to know exactly at all times where people are. Uh, so you know you have to always constantly be painting a picture in your head of uh, you know where my teammates died, where did they just kill people, and uh, you know you can't really have one person doing that. You have to be able to paint that picture on your own based off the callouts that are given. Very true, as uh, we see weapon placement come through. Incense. Incense get dropped down. I, like I said, I can see the next one uh, being grenades. You know, I can see it being, uh, you know, pretty much two blocks and two sets of nades on this map. Nothing nothing real drastic here. Envy versus Optic is always a, a, a very stand-up kind of weapon placement, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's very, it's very rare you see something crazy. Although, as I said, it was uh, that last event. Of course, we, we do keep referencing IGL Pro where Optic actually dropped a boom shot. Yeah. I remember the last time I saw Optic drop a boom shot, they quite simply never really had a need to. That's true. But and you know, also, they're, they're, not, they're not done. They know when they need to switch things up. And it depends on a map. And some maps have more weapon placements on them, right? Right. Uh, this is a map that I believe have five. But I want to say, actually, some, map have, some maps have five weapon placements. Some maps have... Uh, you know, six, and I want to say maybe one map would actually be four, uh, where you actually have to change something, but based on that and how the rounds go, sometimes you have to play something, and the only thing that's left is, uh, you know, either Sniper, Embar, Torque Bow, you know? Yep. So. I mean, we, we talked a little bit about Andy being so good at capping the opposition home hill, I and mean, you just kind of got a great glimpse of that as oh, here we go. Domination, we'll real quick. The, the domination does come through because Toy wins that 1v1, but why is MB so good? That's my question to you guys. What makes them so good at, at just pushing through and, and capping the opposition home hill? They're very methodical. Uh, very methodical, great communication with these guys. And when they actually push through and, uh, and make those breaks, it's, it's on the same page and it's, and it's orchestrated like that, you know? Sometimes they, they practice that same exact push over and over on uh, on what needs to happen, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, it, wor it works out for them when they win, they fight. And I like to say, sometimes they just have to win those fights, you know? Uh, praise, especially praise when it comes down to right yeah. yeah. Yo, he is, and I, and I noticed that especially before, even though he made that mistake not rotating to his B-heel, I've been wanting to see uh, a Gears of War 3, Gears of War UE praise, you know? Uh, I don't feel like praise have, has a lot of, I, I'm not going to say camera time, though, but he hasn't been like... The limelight. The, in the limelight of his team. It's been Toy, you know? Yeah. Uh, and when you when you team with Toy, it's like sometimes, yo, Toy is <laughs> just going to be that guy. You, yeah, you got to accept that guy and fall into a different role, but... I, be the first. I, I say like, he doesn't seem like the dominant phrase in, in previous games, but he will still clutch up on you. Know what I'm saying he's still a, he's still a top ten player, hands down. He's but, very very talented. But is he top? Lead, he leads the charge right now and kills. So uh, maybe make an argument with that. Ted, but of course we did see a sniper rifle dropped from up to gaming over towards uh, the, the middle side of that map between our two home hills. Still uh, the fight goes on for that, but. I mean, Lava now, last man up for Optic Gaming. This not looking good. The domination coming and through. I'm He's going to have to go straight to the He may be able to get to one of the B-Hill. Nicely done from Lava. Man, you better clutch up right here, boy. Keep up the push. gaming in the game. Oh, but, so, yo, look man. at that. He knew his teammate was coming on the flank. He kept his distance. He held that L trigger. Boom. Burns. Those plays like that, you know, wins championships. Summons was able to, to break the hill momentarily, but too many envious players over towards that home hill. Um, once again, they will cap, and they have themselves a 3-2 lead. Interestingly enough, uh, this map was not played in that grand final. Envious was able to defeat Opti Gaming in, you know, a couple of weeks ago. So, you know, not too much can be said about this one. I wonder, can Opti get bored of winning? <laughs> <laughs> I think the honest answer is no, because <laughs> with winning comes money, <laughs> yeah, and everybody right? loves money. <laughs> everybody loves making money, right? But you know, if they if they win so much, do they get do they get lazy? You know, you, it, you it's said? interesting. You get, you I get, think you the, get bored, you get lazy. It's like, oh, we're always <sighs> winning. I, I think the the big thing for for up the gaming is they have to stay motivated to stay on top, and it's yeah. how do you stay motivated to stay? How on do you top? stay motivated when you whooping up on everybody? Right? Exactly, because it's like if you have, let's just say for a month, you don't go as hard. Yeah. 
You know and, someone's and everybody gonna close else that gap. Yeah, everybody's else it, trying it's to a race. Close it. It, you have to think of it as like a marathon, right? Everyone else is gonna start, you know, closing a little bit of time. That's down, when you close. start making your money make money, and you be like, you know what? I need this extra twenty grand because I gotta make this investment. I got <laughs> okay. I gotta I gotta start this business. I gotta get. Yeah. I gotta do something. I gotta sell something. I mean, okay. That's, that's you ain't gonna make a million unless you sell something. <laughs> all right. That's something else the gaming traditionally to the organization has been so very very good at. Just. A very, very talented leadership from, of course, many people know Optic Hex. I mean, one of the smartest people I've ever met. Yeah, he really definitely. is. And he's a very, very inspirational individual as well. But for now, it seems like maybe Hextro could be the uh, <laughs> real MVP. And Yo, right? The boys in blue man. looking very, very nice this evening. This is what we like to see. A, B, Captain. Guess what? They're on C as well. Whoa. Yo, Team Envious, Envy man. Envy at the half, 4-2 up. I like what I'm seeing right now. Yo, they are they are picking up the kills. They are winning their gunfights. They're, they're playing a normal game, but they're winning their gunfights. Uh, and you, you see the kills right there. Praise with 14. Solars with 11. You know, you always got to give him credit. But this is going to be halftime, folks. These hills will flip, as you see. Uh, but I can still see, you know, the majority, the the, uh, the big fight still kind of go over where that B hill was the last six rounds. Right. And pretty much teams fighting for home hills. And that new kind of home hill stretch, of course, is worth mentioning it, it, as you brought up at the start. Respawn's now back down to just 10 seconds. And uh, this one, pretty important round here for Optic Gaming to win. You don't want to allow MDS to go 5-2 up. But look at our overhead. You can kind of see the action over towards those home hills. We're going to start off on board with Lava. Almost managed to clutch up for Optic Gaming a few rounds ago, but unfortunately just didn't have the numbers. And what's his game plan right here if you're, if you're Lava? Yeah, you know, if I'm Lava, I'm making sure that I, I, you want to get wide because he's being very, very aggressive on a flex player of Team Envious, right? On ribs, and he missed that shot. He wants to shoot his gun right there, but he, he opts not to take it. He's going this is going to be shot. ribs. He has to defend from a 1v2, and he's trying to set himself up hey. in a good position, but he's not able to. has a lot of eyes on him, but his help just did not get to him in time. But help did come. And honestly, the, the one thing that impresses me a lot when you watch Lava play is just how quick he's able to react to situations. Yeah. Like, he'll be in a 1v1, and he instantly knows where the opposition team is. A after he kills that 1v1, he's turning around, he's putting shots down, he's so very good. But it gives Wolf forward. you see him again with another pick there on you know, Solus. He's going to get picked up as well. He's still it, it shows when you have a team full of players of multi-gamers and players just full of Gears of War guys. And mm. what I mean by that is because traditionally, uh, I won't say like, if the majority of people who's, who's been playing Gears Esports have just been, you know, playing it over the last few years, it's been Execution. Execution is completely different from a respawn-based game type. Yeah, but very true, you right? have all these other players who play uh, various different PC games, very other games on consoles. Okay? Just they play respawn other, games. Re yeah, respawn right. games in general, you know? It's a completely different uh, dynamic. They have a different state of mind when it comes down to these respawn game types because they're process. I'll be honest with you guys, they're processing more information uh -huh. than uh, somebody who's just played a single respawn game type. A single respawn, it's like, all right, we know we just need to kill them once and we win, right? Yeah. I mean, yes, okay, you can argue that the late process of, of elimination looked like that with the higher respawn, but still, this is a respawn game mode. You have to be thinking a lot, uh, especially considering it's five v five as well. You add a whole extra play to, to that have team. Weapons, we weapon respawn timers in your head, player respawn timers in your head. So you know Both where your teammates are. <laughs> it ain't easy. Okay, all to get that money, but that shows why the the, the, the top stays the top because those guys process a lot of information. And honestly, I think that's you know talking about coaches as we did earlier on. I feel like they don't get as much love as they deserve. Exactly. They really. I, 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 I agree with you, and because with all the information uh, that needs to be processed, it is good to have a six man there. And I don't care what nobody says. Yep. If, you know, if I can have a six man every time, that is that that'd be awesome. Oh. Stupid to say no. You really no, you really would, especially especially if it's you know especially if it's a player who you know who knows what he's talking about and it's a player that the team respects. Then you know it's all for the dandy, you know. Well, it's currently looking good for MVP. Yeah, yeah no, it's looking it's looking lead. real good. Take a look at the score, you guys. Yeah. You know, yeah, uh, the lead is there for Team Envious, but Optic they're coming up. Optic can win with a two cap at this point. And for me, this is where up the game. They need to just make sure they hold that home. Hill. It's something yeah. that Envy we, we brought up at the very beginning on this map. They're fantastic at overextending and capping the opposition home hill. Great. They're away hill. Uh, they've been doing it so very oh. frequently, and it's something that Optic can't uh, afford to lose. Toy trying to make the play. It's that evil. bland fire lance. He needed a shotty out right there for his squad. Uh, he needed to come big on that fight. I think it looks good for up the game to hold this, you know. Yeah, here comes Ribs. The time, they, they His need team needs him right here. A double Ball neutral. Bounce. No. That, that's going to be it right there. That fight that fight is going to seal the deal. We said it was an important round for up the gaming to win. Well, they will walk away with it. So 4-3 now. They still have life in map number one. And it's a, a big map as well to win because we look at the map set. Harbor will be map number two. And that was a map Envy actually won in the grand final a couple yep. of weeks ago. So you want to make sure that you set yourself up 
bare minimum, maybe to, what tie up the series. You, you don't want to be playing a map that you know Envy just beat you on. Yeah, yeah and I want to and I want to say if I'm not mistaken, uh, well, yeah, correct. All right, this is this is going to be uh, Optics map pick. That's why Optics is on Locus. Yeah, okay. I see. Yeah, yeah. So they, we, uh, just assume they're always the higher seed, yeah. so they're always going to have map number one, right? This like, is going to be Optus map pick, and then, uh, so... But I like it, because it mixes yeah. it up from, from the rotation which they just played, right? So, that is true. You know, you're basically saying, okay, we'll take away Foundation, which they lost, and we actually beat Optic on Foundation. We'll take that out. Place a different map to feel like we're just better. Very much just point. team shooting versus oh, team shooting at the stand, though, and you have that last round. But you look at that I'm not finished with this. And so, uh, we will see the instance get placed our, uh, right off the bat here, a little extra you support here to go play for both of these home hills. And uh, we will see a 2v2 fight here, pretty much a 3v3 fight uh, for these instants and summons. Uh, he's going to have to engage here with ribs, though, for that. Toy Soldier's perspective now, once again, in the thick of the action. Smoke grenades and instant thrown out. Oh, he's going to push. Is he going to be able to find the pick? Doesn't look like it for now. Very, very weak. And he's going to get pushed now. It's one versus two. Lava. I mean, you expect him to win that every day of the week when he has the support of a teammate. That is the exact outcome. And now the gaming already looking and pushing over towards Envious' home hill. Of course, that's going to be the D hill. But Solus, he's going to be Whoa. over there. Can he try and stay alive? Not going to happen. He will fall. D and F now controlled by Optic Gaming. The E hill, though, still. For now, at least, controlled by Envious. Yeah, Toy, Toy uh, when he opened that up, he just missed his shots. He had good position. He had right hand. He had support from Solars. Uh, you know, usually we see him, you know, win those type of situations when it's set up like that. But Optic, they cleaned him up, and they went in. And that's why they have uh, both home hills capped. So, true. Mental, just cleaning things up a little bit. Makes his way back over towards the D hill. Uh, this is where, of course, Envy will be spawning. Now, so. in, this, in this position right here, this is where you got to wait and take your time. Wait for teammates before you actually go try to take over these home hills because if you go by yourself and you have to wait for these guys to respawn, then, you know, it's bad news bears. I, I, I love that decision as well for Mental just to wrap up towards that D hill. We, we consistently have said all season long he's one of those clutch, clutch players. When you need him to win a gunfight, he just does, right? He yeah. will always win you those fights. He wraps over, he recognizes, hey, this is where the envy pressure is going to be coming through. They don't really have time to overextend. Let me support my team. And with that, they are able to pick up the kills and also manage to level things up. Four you know, I feel like apiece. Team Envious has a lot of tricks in their, uh, in their basket when it comes down to Harbor. Uh, that's why they've, they've implemented it in their map cycle. You know, this that's the map that they've, you know, we've seen mm -hmm. them play a lot here within the last two tournaments. So if they can Ooh. win this impact, oh, drop shot, see? This is this talking where, about tricks. <laughs> this is where Envious they 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 bring out uh, you know they bring out everything you know. They do indeed. Lava actually top fragging for up to gaming there with 17 himself. We we've seen a, a fair amount of him on screen and he's been playing wonderfully. I said as well. He tweeted out that he wasn't going to lose. Yep. Right. This, this is a player who, honestly, very very determined individual and well. So Team Envious is going like to play. They're going to play defensive on their home hill. Okay. So they're going to have to come. They're going to have to guard up from those instants. But praise, he got out easily with that drop shot now you have to make the good moves he can shoot over this oh that, oh what? What? oh he got the headshot he got the headshot oh, is what yeah? it was yeah he got the headshot oh, with it i was like wait, That's wait, how when, you, when you heard that <laughs> grind at first i didn't pick it up so that was actually a headshot with the drop shot that was beautiful so he, he, he real clever i like that, that was a nice little uh, angle right there as lava continues on his killing rampage but you, but you saw the strategy. They, they knew that Optic was going to play for the home hill, mm -hmm. so they put their resources to get in drop shot, and that little, that little, I'm not going to say it, but I'm going to say it this time, that cheeky shot. <laughs> yes. They put the cheeky shot through the window, all right? I love And it. was able to defend their home hill. So that was that was, that was a good play. They, they expected Optic to go up those stairs immediately because they, they, they invited them in, okay? They invited like, them hey, in and hit the trap. Come, come. Okay? No, we welcome you. We welcome you. It was like home alone. <laughs> That's the stats. Currently, ENF, envious control. However, up to getting control of the round score for now, 67 to 59. Uh, his toy, once again, he just loves this side of the map. Um, but those team actually trying to hunt down. Kenny, I think that is. Oh, the teammate actually wins that. Kenny's already down on his front. Now they have a 2v2 as well. Toy looking to try and relieve a little bit of pressure. Fran has got out with his life. He will be picked up as well. Now this is Toy springs into life, finds explosive. But Lava having absolutely none of it. Rips is out of trade, though. Things get a little bit more hectic now as we approach the 100 point mark. Still good for Envy, though. With the ENF. This is a big, big round as well. As we said, tied at 4-4. Four, four. 
every single round it, it is really massive. Good job by Rears backing up and not overextending and forcing that fight there with Mental. Uh, keep your advantage, get some help from your teammates. Now, in the, in the later respawn rounds, plays like we saw in that opening is very, very good, okay? Those type of plays that win you those big rounds because it comes down into that execution style of gameplay. Uh, as we can kind of see now with everything being slowed up here. So Praise has to have good rotation. His main job is to not give up this neutral hill. He's going to have smokes all the way around him. And he's going to opt to go back a little bit more here. Safer position. Does not want to die right here now. Oh, that's a great fight. Too. Oh, the timing story. on the jump. Oh, is he going to be able to find the pick? Uh, he, he wasn't was able to. But, uh, I was going to say, bear in mind, new drop shot up as well. Franz already got his hands on that. And he's also managed to shut down Kenny. So that's just going to relieve a little bit of pressure. And for Envy as it stands, they don't need the E hill. Right? Yeah, this is that, a, this that is e -hill a beautiful neutral, two this cap. Is, this is great for them. They can leave it neutral. They can put the pressure on the opposition home. No, that's exactly going to be the game plan. Drop shot by oh. Fred says, hey, i got skills. I can shoot him through windows as well. Explosive, he will fall. And that pretty much should be the round for Team Envious here. They can afford again to back away, give away off the gaming home hill. There's no pressure on that because the E-Hill's still neutral. However, they cannot afford to lose our home hill as it stands. They're in a fantastic position to just close this one out. Even a two-cap for off the gaming isn't going to be enough. And I want to say they have one drop shot left, and there's the insane that actually comes out. They're going to win these fights, and that that's was a good beautiful. job by Team Impious. That was, honestly, that was beautiful play from them. I, I think that's where it comes down to that leadership from Franchise that we touched on before the game. Controlling. It's like a game of chess to him, right? He's saying, hey, we know we can win. Leave E neutral. Have one player just kind of hang around. You're almost baiting in off the mm -hmm. game at that point to say, hey, put pressure on this hill. But also, you have to let... Also, at the same time, when it comes down to Toy Soldier and Ribs, the voice on their squad and like decisions that they make, mm. uh, like I said, you have to spread the workload. So, Fran, true, those true, are the two true, players true. you spread it for. You spread it to Ribs <laughs> and you spread it to Toy Soldier. Uh, and you kind of let, you know, Praise and Solar, that's your muscle right there, okay? That, that's, <laughs> that's your muscle. Sure. Those, those are your slayers right there. They make sure they, they, they get stuff done. Uh, they're the followers of the squad right there. Interesting. Shot grenades placed down uh, there from, from Optic. What, what's the thought process behind that? You know, the, uh, when it comes down to the shot grenade placements right there, they can they can easily like neutralize the home hills right there. Okay. I don't see the shot grenades being used fully, okay, for the E heal, but it's more gonna be used for that defensive tactic. All right, enough. Just give it towards that flex player and let him try and make a play. Of course, could maybe try and make a play with them towards that drop shot, but you're gonna be so late to that initial fight. Probably not even gonna get to and there's the shot grenade. Yeah, there's the shot grenade on the drop shot. You can they threw it right through the window, so they have a clear sight line on that right there. So that was good. Explosive. Actually, maybe get pushed by Toy. Toy, oh, he's not going to be able to get out, but the teammate is there. But you can just see the lance of fire coming through. Now you got to get a revive chain. Luckily, it does come through. Praise has already opened the door in terms of kills. He was able to find one. That's the lava that drops. And Toy, you can just see how hungry he is to try and find some up to gaming players. But Wise, you know, he's not overly aggressive. Does back away, but now it's still between a rock and a hard place. Luckily, teammate is on E. He needs to just relieve a little bit of pressure. Praise has drop shot in his hands. He's already killed explosive with it. So, Envy, honestly, they, they should be able to get a, a bit of control here. Yeah, Yo, you see. Yo. He's thinking about it. <laughs> He's like, mm. Yo, Yo, perfect, do it. right do through it the wall. That, that is going to be a locust right there to your right. Do it to him. You yeah. know he's back there. Hey, can he oh. catch? Oh, he, banged, he banked it off the wall, but it didn't come back. Oh, oh that's okay. I thought <laughs> I would have been like, yeah, all right. <laughs> he's kind of rolls out. He's found okay. one position where he could not get hit from, so he needs to make sure he gets his life back right here. Uh, Team Amius, they will get control over that home hill, cap it up. They are going to be down here by a good 35 points. So they pick up a double kill there. So this is going to be good for them. If they can push through, Domination possibly coming in here. Can, can he have anything to say about it? Him and his teammate will be there together, but it's three Envious members coming in quick. They will be pushing these guys back. They're going to slowly walk forward here. Smoke grenades will be out. Optic is not going down without a fight on their home hill, but we're about to see with this engagement. <laughs> you see Praise just trying to blind fire through the smoke. He's expecting a player to be in that corner, but you know, up the game, they just kind of rolled on out of that. They didn't want anything to do with it. Look at the score line as well, 112 to 106, a very, very close one on our hands. The MB, they will take the lead if it stays like this for a few more moments. As Lavrik, he's trying to at least neutralize the E-Hill. He's done his job. Where is the support coming from, though? That's the question. It just wasn't there. Rip says, thank you very much. <laughs> that E-Hill, that belongs to me. Yeah, the rest of his teammates were behind him on, uh, on top of where they, their previous home hill was. They was on top of the stairs. They wasn't in a position. Is that maybe a get... little bit too aggressive? Yeah, that's that's definitely the definition of too aggressive right there. Because they was not in a position to help him. He was way too far back. Uh, he would have been better just trying to risk his life and just trying to roll back there. Oh, actually, Emby could lock in a trip cap. You have yeah, make sure you get in that heap. Oh, oh, oh. He... wait. What? what? Did he get? No, he died. Okay, he died. I was gonna say. That, that, yeah, that, that, was, that, that was looked a weird. Crazy for a fight. 
Anyway, Choi, he will reclaim the E-Hill, and with that, Team Envy is maintained. But if Riz would have got down in that hill, like, he should have got down in the hill. He still would have capped. They, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't have been close enough to kill him. True. They, they might have got that domination. But once again, coming in, Team Envy is still with the pressure. Two seconds off. And the home hill uh, optic will get controlled over there at home hill once again. But hey, it is too little, too late. Possibly, as we know, with domination, anything can happen right here. You see optic, they're pushing across. They got players pushing for that neutral hill and that away hill. But the away hill is successfully defended right there. And to kind of go back to that overly aggressive kind of moment there, if, if you do make one of those plays, you, you lose map control so quickly. Yeah. You, you do. And it's like you only see it as one small mistake. But escalation can be a game where one mistake can really just cost you the round. And you think maybe, you know, you play that a little bit more passive. You wait for your team and then you try and go for that play. And maybe you and, walk away with that. Yeah, and you, you have to have good awareness. You have to have that one player on your team to really kind of check you guys, check, check the players that need to understand that, hey, the respawn timers are 18 plus seconds, okay? <laughs> you got to wait. <laughs> you can't play how you was playing rounds one, two, three, round right. seven, eight, nine. You can't, you just can't do it. Uh, yep. You have to kind of slow down and make better pos better positions. And as the gameplay escalates, your decision making needs to escalate as well. MB finds themselves now at that point. Looking to go 1 0 up in the series. Lava breaks ice though with the pick on toy. That's going to be a big one. Matchup fact, they find themselves too. And immediately, map control is going to go that way. Three players down and out of action momentarily. Drop shot also going to be picked up. An optic, you give them a, a lifeline like that, you can bet every penny in your bank savings. They are going to take it. Franchise is going to drop the pressure when the trip cap comes through. Toy, I mean, you're going to have to make one of those hero plays. We know you can do it. It's not going to happen this time. Beautiful, beautiful play from Optic Gaming. I'll tell you two things. When optic, their backs are against the wall like this, you, you see them start to play their best. Also, the next thing is, they love it when Team Envious chokes, okay? <laughs> they love when they revert. They, they love when they come They're back down on and Team Envious. Yo, that's like soul motivation for them guys as well because they've done it to them so many times. <laughs> Where you think Team Envious is about to win, an optic comes back and take it. Like, they thrive off having that ability to talk trash on that one moment. Where it's like, you Remember guys were up 6-3 and came back. <laughs> choke. The next thing you know, somebody's going to tweet. I don't know why Team Envious choked so much. Like, I don't know if it's a medical condition or if it's just, like, if it's a confidence issue. <laughs> I don't know what it is because it's getting kind of serious at this point when you do it in so many different titles. Oh, uh, damn. Straight for the throat. I like 2017 reckless plays. It's great. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I, that was not me. That was me saying what they no, were saying. Okay, I, that, know. Yeah, yeah. I know, but I just know you've been the type of guy to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference anyway. Lava on your screens. Heading into what could be potentially the last round. Oh, look, three oh, down. That was gosh. quick. Never Already pushing in. Mind. This, this, this is looking like they tied it's up. It's like, it, honestly, you want to know what it's like? And I mean no disrespect. I mean, <laughs> I mean no disrespect to Team Memphis when I say this. All right, but for up to gaming, I feel like they can play at like 75%. Right? And they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any team on the circuit. And then as soon as they need to, they're just like, all right, guys, lean forward, time to try. And then they just do that. I might need where was it? Where was the, did you see those last two rounds? Back, they were over, you you the blinked wall. and they were done, right? My you boy. blinked and you missed it. Someone went to the bathroom, came back, and he's like, damn, up to gaming, 6-6. Six, six. Someone is surprised that they just did that that quickly. My, like, my, they're so clutch, dude. <laughs> my boy Night Vision might need to write these boys a prescription for something. <laughs> Okay. 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 I need. I need. I need some. I need some. Uh. Some, any Gears of War members out there in the medical field? Yo, put your name out in the chat. Let it be known. Okay. All right. Can get a prescription wrote for something or kind of diagnose this if this happens. Diagnose it. <laughs> diagnose it. <laughs> they chose. At least understand. All right. Well, we're heading to around 13, guy. It ain't gonna happen. I, I'm not gonna. This is a new team in your squad, okay? Yeah. They're out here. 2017. Okay, new they're year, playing new better me. than ever. Yeah, yeah. New year, new, 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 new team envious, <laughs> right? Well, all right, coming out here, see. opening break here. All right, drop shot. Botox down. This is going to come down to the fight for these drop shots and incense on the middle of the map here. All right, Solar needs to win this opening 1v1 as the teammate Praise comes across map trying to get this drop shot. We're going to see what happens. But I do want to take notice that they took the shot grenades off. Oh. This is going to be good. Solars. He's gonna have a player right after the smoke. And the actual cut is gonna be two players from up the game. Oh, wait for that first kill. Oh, the Matola back gate! Peaks back and Lava just disrespects him with it. Did they trade off here? Lava. Lava going absolutely ham. And that's actually gonna be advantage now. Up to oh. gaming. More kills come through. Drop shot's gonna be taken. Can I get a rest in peace, Team Envy? Oh, oh friend. no, friend. Oh. oh, no. 
Oh, that that hurt. That hurt in a team envious camp right there. You can't diagnose that one. I don't know what it is. Off the game. <sighs> that opening fight, Solders had a good shot. Solders had, had a good. A great, great. He got shot. back eight though. He wins that fight. They may win that map. Three straight rounds off the game, folks. You know, we, we know map. foundation. Found, I don't have the maps and pick map and band picks here in front of me, but I can assume Envious banned foundation, uh, or it was either but that or claim. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if they would though, because they beat up the gaming on it. Yeah, well, let's say optic ban foundation, Envious ban reclaim. Then you don't want nobody want to play lift. All right. <laughs> no one want to play lift. Lift and uh, <laughs> I forgot, I forgot that, the other map. That is Envy's like auto ban. That will be the first map that they ban. They just they will get rid of that every single time. Kind of like Forge off the gaming. It's, it's like that one safe solid ban. The yeah, you know, it's just gonna come through. Uh, you can click the whole time. Anyway, we're in map number two now. We are in map number two. Team Envy is our red squad off the gaming now. We're gonna be our blue squad for this one as we enter round number one. Of course, ten second respawn. Yes, it is here, and we will see that as we. Uh, one thing that we used to say a lot was the the witch. The fight for the winch because you have so much vision around the other areas of the map. We see a big fight down there, which we saw explosive win in the beginning of the game. And we're going to have Craze try to make something happen, but he's going to just respawn with the rest of his teammates, try to make a play there. But they will have somebody on their home hill defending it. And uh, we're going to have Team Envious. They got their backs against the walls. Optic Gaming is in their base. They need to slay up the rest of these players now. But Optic is about to get the domination early on. 10 second wow. rounds. Wow. Optic. Can't uh, it's a very, very quick domination. And for Envy, that top side control is, is is key for them, right? They're they're very, very good at getting that control, but Optic they just kind of came through and just swept it out. Yeah, they did. That 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 was good. They they won open and fight, and it was aggressive the whole time. They were funneling uh, all the team Envious members onto that home hill, and uh, they just kept them occupied. Ten second respawn rounds on, on that's 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 hard to do. All right, mm. especially against the squad. Uh, one we kill. Will, we will see Snipe get placed though. So. Ribs Ribs got one kill. No one else will Yeah, okay. somebody got it down, though. That's true. Look on the That's right true. side. Okay. All right. But Snipe does get placed at the top of the map, and we're going to see four people go almost, almost like that old old school fully space strat, you know? You win this initial fight. Right. All right. You got the Snipe up there at the top. You control so much of the map. Uh, when you're up here, this is the one map where you play pretty much where you kind of you almost run that same opening strat with four Every people up there throughout all 13 rounds if you yep. go to distance. Even at halftime, you don't change it up. And once again, you've kind of seen this opening strat that comes through for, for Envy. They're very, very good at just locking down that top side. The, the kill comes through, the opener. Now the question, can they build upon that? Summons, he uh, unfortunately will find one and two. It, it's as if Envy is, is kind of starting that up top fight with the intro. And then Optic oh, just kind of, he, they he take away the players it. from Winch and they're like, okay, we're just going to flood the top as well. And they just gain oh, that oh, new oh, advantage he, he, real quick. Oh, 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 why you do it, Mental? Why you doing it? So, uh, and, and you see, you see the, the, the sight line from the home hills on the top of the map with that snipe. And mm -hmm. then they're putting it in, in, in Mental's hands every single time. Like, whew. You know? Hey, it's going to, hey, it's coming coming down to his opening fight. They need to kill explosives right there. They need to kill explosives. So, Envious, what you want to do? Uh, this is a good good spot. Shot grenades? Uh, I don't go across map. Even if you put some across map, it won't hold too what? much weight. They're going to mm. go across map. But you, you blocked across the map. Uh, you know, but hey, it's still gonna be a good fight there for fight there to be healed because they don't want to. They don't want to. Okay, the actual spawns, right? The two mm -hmm. double spawns that's on the home hills right now. They don't want to block it just yet, okay? Because they, they they may need to put something there to help them win this fight on the winch. They may need to put some incense there or some shot grenades there, but they just don't know yet. They don't want to make the move just yet. There's only two rounds they lost, but when they get to to rounds three and four, if they're still in the trenches. That's gonna be their weapon pick. They try to use that to, you know, get themselves get themselves out of a hole. And one key thing as well we should note for the first couple of rounds is summons over kind of playing by himself. Then uh, well, yeah. speak of the devil. <laughs> it's almost as if Waldo's a god. Yeah, he's winning. He's, he's winning this, this over this here. This is the key. Summons. We, we don't really see him too much because obviously we focus a lot on that up top fight. But he wins this one v one so frequently. This is probably one of his better maps. He probably wouldn't like to admit it, but in terms of consistency, honestly, he's so oh, very good at it. And you, you see the. The gunfight again comes through. Now it's basically a 1v2, and he's oh, still alive, and he gets the down as well. This is what I'm talking about. It, it's the small micro plays like this, which is what makes the squad so good, because at all areas around oh. the map, you have players. Maybe, I thought he was going to go down. Here we go. He, if he takes out Toy right here, too, after he capped the heal, oh, you demolished oh, Toy. He got help. He got help right there. 
Oh. Someone's doing his best over at that side, but Toy, as you said, will regain that B hill. For now, look at the score. It is advantage up to gaming, 69 to 58. A and B back in Envious' controller, so they're gonna chip away at that deficit. Solus, he's gonna be controlling up top as well. And Envy, look at that overhead. They're set up pretty nice. Now they can react here to what Opti Gaming is gonna get to do. They definitely can here. And uh, Snipes is not gonna be in anybody's hands just yet, but it will be on respawn here. One of the shorter weapons that's on respawn. Well, one of the weapons that's on a shorter respawn timer. Uh, but you have to be able to defend this part of the map against men, so you can't let them push across there if you're set up, all right? Regardless, you, either, either you have somebody there defending with you at all times, but you guys can't have two people go down. Solar still alive up top. He's trying to push. And well, King, that's what happened King, when you push Kenny can't and do much right that's there. four dead. Yeah, and Kenny's with the, with, the, with the flame sniper rifle. Boy, I, I see you, Kenny. That's a shout out to me right there. Got the sniper rifle, got the flames on him. I see you. Oh, mental. I see you. I feel like it, it's strange, right? We talk about, you know, players on good maps. For me, this map of mental, I don't know what it is, right? I don't know whether it's just because of that one time we saw him with the sniper rifle just do things which shouldn't he no no <laughs> human should do. But I don't know, he's ten kills, okay, so yeah, maybe it is a little bit justified. But this again he, in terms of maps, you always just see him go off. He, he seems to position himself so very intelligent. I think this is his best map. Best map? You've oh yeah. Far. Out of okay. all the maps that we see mental play, anytime it's on harbor, he is why, the star why, of the show. Why is that? I don't I don't know. He 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 is the star of the show. You know what? The uh, mental show. Because if we see Snipes placed on this map a lot mm -hmm. out of any, right? And, you know, we know how good he is with Snipe, but he also can just controls that top half of the map. Just the way it's positioned, just the, the geography of it, it just works out for him. And a lot of teams, if they pick this map, placing down Sniper is usually the main strategy. It's like, it's in there somewhere. It's either you're going to do double Snipes or you're going to have a Snipe up here at the top. That lava, once again, often goes towards this winch area. This is... The key opening for him, and he opens the door for up to gaming as well. So, However, so Envy, they've actually... All right, so this is the key for them. They've, they've managed to get multiple players down from Envy. Surely, yeah. at this point, they get control of the map. And Toy Soldier got sniped. Oh, my, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was Toy. Toy picked up Snipe, he got out. Domination possibly coming in. Here's the later rounds, okay? There you go. This is this is good right here. Ah, Lava, staying alive here. You know, he, he, he can't take cover here in Cap. I'll take that back. He can't take cover in Cap in this one little position. <laughs> Literally the one. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that one the, the spot, one on the spot that you could possibly do it. He is able to do it. But he's uh, going to rotate over here and try to help his teammate get some angles on this guy down here so his team can possibly come out with a two cap. Smokes will go out to try to try to get a little uh, little cover here as these players come in here and try to cap this B because once it's capped, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to break here. True, lover. Good job again if you're staying alive. He makes his way over to what summons. How they managed to get the five chain. Look at that. See franchise Lancer there, fire from Envy. That team fire from Envious is just OP at times. Solus, he's just walks in, he's like, oh, <laughs> free kill. Ooh, free kill. <laughs> like, ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Explosive. Explosive needs to make sure he takes cover right here because Franchise is putting out so much support fire there from that winch area. And he's making sure this B hill uh, is not going to get get taken over easily. So, but 18 Envious, they re regain control over that one. And now they're trying to do an optic there to them, but they have to have their patience and they got to win fights like that. Now you see them running away. New Sniper's going to be on respawn and Mental sees it right there. And this is where Mental can turn the game around. We see him do, as I mentioned before, some pretty naughty things on fight night with that Sniper rifle on this map. I'm curious to see if he can try and give us a repeat performance as Solus is actually able to beat down Lava with that bolt up. Gonna go for the meat shield as well. Drops it. Ooh, Metal backing away with that sniper rifle. <laughs> don't, don't annoy yeah, him now. Yeah, he don't want to get caught off guard right there. He's making sure he backs up. He knows his team has, has the two cap, right? As long as he's up top somewhere, he has good angles. So pretty much, he's watching B a lot here. Watching B, making sure he gets caught on the top of the map. No reason for him to really be there. Uh, no power weapons up just yet. Oh. And by him having a sniper, he can, his team can regain control of that anytime if they want. And he also wants to take himself out of danger. So Close you see him, he has good sight lines right here. Yep, he can defend that home hill, as you said. Fantastic sight line over towards B. And as well as that, he's getting a lot of information as well. Let's exactly. not forget the, the importance of that calling out, hey, you know, a couple of Envy players started to make this push. Guys, get ready. You're going to have a couple of key fights. Solar's now springing into life. He's going to try and push A. Thanks. Ribs as well. They're going for a bit of a pinch, but trip cap could come through. A couple of kills are in favor of Team Envy. And Ribs immediately tracks over towards B, this recognizing they need this to cap good. this. 
They need to get it quickly, though. Look at the score. I don't think this is going to be quick enough. Now they need to neutralize C as well. Is that nope. going to come through? Potentially, could Toy wins the 1v1? Oh, He's going to get on the C hill. Fantastic. Not enough. Three, no. A second off. Oh, my goodness. A and second that off. hurts so much. Oh, if you're Envy, you just did everything right. Yeah. Everything right, apart from maybe you were half a second too slow. Yeah, and so the thing, thing is about, like, Envy is losing map 7-6, especially against Optic when you're in the lead. That carries over, okay? Oh, of course. That hurt. That carried over. Oh, 100%. absolutely. 4-0 on your, on your map, okay? The map that, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to catch teams off guard with, and you're getting 4-0, like, you know, you have to... I mean, we, we talked a little bit about hidden strategies that they may have on, on this one. Not necessarily hidden, but, you know, more sneaky stuff yeah. potentially in their back pocket. I feel like, is this the time to, to maybe use it? You know, the 2K? Just save it till Mexico? No. <laughs> Yeah, at this I point, mean, you got damage done, right? You're 4 down. Mm -hmm. Do you, you want to try and use the hidden stuff? Like, do you want to teach up the gaming what you're going to do nah. when you play them online? Nah, at this point, you got to you gotta be able to, to assess your team's, uh, yeah, how everybody's feeling at this point, okay? You know, what's going on, you know? Is, is, are, are we, you know, getting enough oxygen, you know? Are we ready to play, come back? It is, uh, and just go from there. But Technical bathroom breaks, man. I'm telling you. Technical timeouts. Yeah, technical timeout, man. I got to go to the bathroom. Let's close the game real quick. If there was ever a time to use it, trust me. Not on long, not not at land, not today. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's your time okay. out, please. Don't nope. jinx yourself, because you, <laughs> you will be casting by yourself. <laughs> 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 no, um, I wouldn't leave you here alone. Oh, oh, thanks, man. I appreciate you. There you go. Be but, capped by Optic. So now Optic in a good position. We gotta ask ourselves, but Team Envious has control over top top of the map over that winch area, okay? Uh, Sniper's gonna be in the hand oh, of Kenny. Yeah. And he's gonna connect that body shot. That's why you get the sniper at the mantle. Hey, Kenny, Kenny gets heads. Don't ever disrespect Ma Kenny again in your life. Full day. What's this? What's this? Yo, okay. See? Kenny got you, him weak, though. I, I said metal get heads. You gonna give day. Kenny some respect today, Benson, okay? He got <laughs> him weak. Kenny. <laughs> but Kenny, Kenny's pretty good with the sniper. I gotta, I gotta admit, for now, though, it is up to gaming controlling. Pretty much the majority of the map, despite actually now, having so those two hills. So, Team Envious, they finally got control over B, because if you control this top area, it's only a matter of time before you get control over B. Uh, even though Optic is trying to break it here, Team Envious will get pushed out, and now Optic is not stopping. You already got Lava on the home hill causing commotion. He won a 1v1 already. He gets help. This guy is weak. Oh, that's like a 1v4. Uh, can't take that's him out. That's never going to happen. The ribs, he's still there. He's trying to make something happen. He was able to shut down summons, but again, up to gaming, they have set up base camp on the Team Envious home hill, and it is only a matter of time before that trip camp comes through. No one from Envy able to rotate. I mean, on this kind of map, it's very tough to try and make that decision to rotate to B, right? Because it does take a, a lot longer off that spawn point. Mm -hmm. It's so easy just to spawn and just, hey, rush home hill, rush home hill, rush home hill. Yeah. But, you know, Optic, when there's that many people there, it, it's so tough to beat them when there's Team Junior. Like no, you definitely do. And this is, the, this is one of the harder maps, okay? Actually, this is the hardest map for uh, a flex player to overextend, okay, and break a home hill, all right? Mm. You have other maps like Foundation, uh, even Reclaimed, that, okay? That, that mental has 19 kills. No one else in the game has <laughs> double digits and he's about to get 20. <laughs> I just uh, want to. I just want to. I want everyone to realize that right now. Want to make sure we all know. Mental, who, he, you know, he, he's kind of playing that flex role in the first half. It goes over to summons in the second half for up the gaming. But mental, yeah, yep, you just you can't, you can't stop him. And, and, and again, that's what we talked about before, right? And every player, every player can play every position yep. on this on this squad. So it's like, play. hey, it's like every player basically it, up for up the gaming says, all right, which part of the map do you like? Oh, I like this part. Okay, I like that part. All right, well. That's a flex roll. Cool, I'll do that. And they just kind of go off what they prefer. Yeah, I mean, it works so damn well. I mean, you see Mental just being disgusting, for lack of a better word, right now. Oh! Making it his show. I should have called that Kobe. I wanted to. I, I just, you know, I'm rusty, you guys. Yeah, you're rusty? I'm Christmas rusty. Break. I'm rusty. Christmas break. Christmas break. break. Uh -huh. Too much sweet oh, potato it's pie. About to be 6 -0. Too much sweet potato pie. Usually I catch those. Oh, oh it's going to be 6 0. And to your point about losing 7 6. When you had the lead, so far they gave it up. They gave it up nine react, straight rounds. I mean, if you get seven zero to map two, a map that you beat off the gaming in a week before, that, mm -hmm. I think I think at that point you you kind of have to speak to your coach. And no, I, I mean, yeah. sure, I, I'm a roasting. I'm just saying, you, at that point you have to use your coach, right? Utilize your coach. That's what coaches are for. Not necessarily just in-game stuff, but outside of the game. I think that's so so key. I I, I would look at you know Ryan. I'd be like, hey. 
how do you get them over those mental hurdles? Because it is as if this happened on land, mm -hmm. that's the difference between 20k, 10k. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a big, big chunk of money, and it's not just envy. This happens to everybody. Optic gaming can say the same is true. And I think having that coach, we talked about it a lot earlier on. Coaches can be so, so key. That sixth man is absolutely vital for now, though, because we are on the second side of the game, making a statement here in map number two. Looking very, very good indeed. Can Envy somehow, some way, spring into life though? That is gonna be the question. You definitely have to have that that that, that motivator, you know? That guy to be able to take the team's negativity on his own shoulders. Right. You know, bring you guys back into it, uh, get your energy back right, and uh to be able to, you know, to, to, to shake things up. You know, even even if you say some 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 BS and be like, you know, dog, the only reason why we lost that, okay? was because the moon wasn't at his eight back. <laughs> Whatever you say, say something, okay? Right, even if, it's, even if it's worse crap. Yeah, absolutely. It's better to say something than say nothing at all. As um, now, we've seen Envy spring into life a, a, a little bit now, but Optic will survive momentarily. Lava with a big double. <laughs> Lava looking for more blood. He's so unbelievably weak, but done a great job of staying alive. Keeps his team in the game right there. That would have been a trip cap for Envy, and that would have been their first round, but Marver has other ideas, and you can just see him desperately trying to stay alive for now, has team support as well, and this is the problem for the game. You give him time to kind of think and formulate a strategy, it's so tough to try and stop him. No, you, you need team shooting like that. That's how you stop him. Yeah, you definitely do. You definitely do. Uh, and, you know, Envy, that's one of their strengths, is uh, their team fire, man. It is, it is. I think a, a lot of teams would probably say they have one of the best, if not the best team shooting. Uh, out there in Gizmo 4 right now. They, they are just truly fantastic at it, but explosive. He's going to shut down Toy. Solos has gone down as well. Up to gaming, springing over toward the E Hill. And it's interesting to me because traditionally that kind of 50 50 fight up top, if you will, and most maps kind of had that. Oh, they're blowing the horn. Hashtag blow the horn. I'm sure the Up to Gaming fans will love that one. <laughs> but traditionally that 50 50 fight up top, Up to Gaming doesn't really like. They like mm -hmm. being able to play fights, which give you a higher percentage chance of winning. So it's very interesting to kind of watch them change that playstyle and, uh, and formulate a way to give themselves an advantage up top. And you see them just kind of pinching very, very consistently. But you know, Envy is very good at controlling that winch area. So for Up to Gaming, it's just kind of reacting to Envy being so good at it almost. And it's great to watch unfold in front of your eyes. No, it definitely is. And you know, uh, and as we said before, the one thing that makes Optic Gaming great on this map, besides mental, is, is, is Summons, man. You know? He's so good. Summons, he, he plays that role by himself. He wins the 1v1. He lets his teammates know, like, you don't have to even worry about me. Like, I got this. Okay, right. I will control this whole bottom half of the map by myself. This is my dojo. And I feel like he's like an unsung hero as well. Like a, a lot of the guys from up the guy, obviously they get a lot of credit because they are so good. But they yeah. like someone doesn't necessarily get all the credit he deserves, yeah. especially on a map like this. I mean, and then, oh, he just killed yeah, followers. He did. He, he oh. pulled that one off. That's it. Oh, just, That's oh, it. That. And, uh, that's Yo, Team Envious, man. And I'm glad that we were talking about him when he Oh, no, we're we still in it. Oh. We're still in it. Oh, he's neutral. Envious. Oh, they oh. got time. They can There's life. No. Oh, no. no that's e. that's, that's no. the final nail in the coffin. Almost. Right there. Close. Almost. But no cigar. You know? But Team Envious, like, like it is, well, you know, one of the weakest points is, you know, controlling that B here, right? In the, in the earlier parts of the game. And if Summons is so good, and you, you can't really control that B here. But if you win that top fight, B, B should be effortless at that point.